Hi, it's me, Mia, and today we will be making luggage tags. Yay, whatever. Okay. <laughs> the tools you will be needing are one pattern duct tape, white duct tape, you need white duct tape, and uh, another pattern duct tape or something. I don't know. So, yeah. And if and scissors and uh, well, it's actually a knife if you don't have it's actually a nice scissors. I usually I usually use both <laughs> and a sharpie and yeah. So let's get started. Yay! Okay, and you need a cutting board. Okay, the first thing you want to do is take your um take your main color. My main color is gonna be this. So it's gonna be the outline. That so just gonna make the duct tape's gonna be about as long as you want the name tag to be, mine's going to be this one. Just want to make that straight line. Not, mine's not going to be that big. I'm taking this. And so it's going to be about that big. And mine, this one, it's a little bit bigger. So mine's gonna be teeny one, and just wanna make like I don't know, like five, six. Actually, let's start with four. And make sure that the line that you cut is always straight. Okay, since we got one, two, three, four, I'm gonna take one, oops, and flip it over. Now, white side will be showing. And after that, you're going to take another piece and just make that even. And there you go. So now it's just a piece of fabric. And if there's white on the edge, you could just put that in your book. Just put that down. Take another piece and put it in the middle. That. So when you flip it over, it'll have some of the whites. In. Take it. 
take another piece and cover that white side. Just make sure it's not bent or anything. So that's really bad. You do that and then at the end it comes out really bad. So yeah. When you flip it, it'll be a white piece. So you keep on building and building like that. Um, I think mine's fine right now. So we're going to get your other main color, which is going to be this part and the edges, but I don't do any edges on this one. So we're going to make the longest piece you could go on your cutting board. Not too long though. If it's too long, then you'll have extra pieces. Which you don't want. Just fixing this up a moment. Slice it. Okay, that didn't cut. Keep on bending. Sorry. Having some problems. Do not do what I'm doing right now. Please. Okay. Since you got this piece, which was really hard for me to get. <laughs> um. You're just gonna take measure slice it to the measure it is take that piece off take that off some miles and since that's the same size, cut So once we have that, we're going to put it on the side of this. Since it's on the side, you're going to flip it over and you see that piece. Oops, made a mistake. This duct tape always could fix it. You don't have to do this. Just doing it because I have a little problem. Since you have that, you're not going to do the same with the sides, only if you want to. It would be cool if you did. So since you should save that, this you could just put it somewhere. Um, after we do that, see what 
We're gonna peel this white piece. We're gonna take your white tape. You're just gonna put it like that big. It has to be smaller. This side, let's see. That's small. It has to be pretty tiny. Then you're gonna take your Sharpie and write name. Name at the top. And then write your name. Then <laughs> and then you say um, phone. Then you can write your phone number, but I'm not gonna put my phone number. I'll do that later. Since I'm on YouTube. <laughs> and it's dry and erased, so you could erase that name. Can't do it with your finger though. But you have to use like erase markers to erase it. And take it and the eraser to take that off. And then part I like. So you're gonna take your um Zacto knife and put it in a corner and stick in for a hole. Has to be a big one. It's a little tricky. I would use the scissors like I'm doing right now. If you don't have scissors, which is really weird. Um Use a Zach. Okay. You could make your mom do this or something. If it rips like mine, tape it back on. Okay. Sorry. This is a pretty bad video. I don't say that. Let's make another one. Um, since you made that hole, and if and if you're still there. I'm still making that hole. Okay, it has to be really big and it's really hard to make hole. Okay. Now take the um, curler that you used for the corners to make the hook. Make it pretty long. This is broken. Sorry, I'm just fixing this.
Okay. Since we got that, so and make a thin piece. Okay, that didn't work. Making really bad pieces right now. But it'll do. So when you make that tin piece, you're gonna fold that. So it'll be like this. And then you're gonna poke it through the hole. And yay, you got it. Okay, use cut another piece. That looks like a square and it's as big as this. And they're gonna take that. I can put it like that and put that piece on and wrap it around. And now it could stay. Okay, then you have this. Really cool, really cool. This is it. Yay! Okay, for more videos, subscribe. And you can see all my videos. This is my first one, but I'll make some more. <laughs> um, also, see me on Instagram, which is Hi Me Mia Chica. So, see that too. And have a nice day. Bye!